well. Lazy boy got up, did all his comments this morning, and then I don't have nothing to do except for pay my bills. So I have to go um, pay my phone bill and internet, TOT internet. But I think this month I'm going to let my TOT go finally. The services where I am is super poor. I'm just wasting my money. So I can use my phone Wi-Fi for my phone. And I have that pocket thing which I can use for the internet. So I just paid that and I got some food. So I have some tom salad today for lunch. And here's all the little different pieces. There's crab over there if you want crab in it. And all the different sauces. And garlic and chili and peanuts and lemon. I'll go into the mix, mixing bowl. Look at this chili on that one, see it? All those little dots are chili seeds. But mine don't have so many chili seeds. I said my pet, because there's always enough in the bowl for it to be spicy enough for me. And a little bit of pork. <laughs> so I got um, some water and some chum salad. Hi guys. Well, I'm back home now. I wanted to sh show you something. Many people asked to see the backpack, the photography backpack I got. So I wanted to show you that. I actually got it in the house, laying on my bed, because uh, it's hot out here today. It's winter, but it's 90 degrees, about 30 something. So um, I'm gonna, I got it on the bed where it's clean, and I'm, I'll show you it in the house, okay? Okay, so here's the bag, that's the top. You can see it's got a handle on the top, and the normal backpack stuff. And little compartments around the, the side and the place on the back for the tripod to go in and a bag here this is this this little um, section here I put I got some spare batteries in here and you can put all your cables and everything else in there and then you, underneath you know down the bottom like a normal backpack they have the bag to go over the top so that if it rains it keeps it dry and then you can get into the back compartment through here but the main compartment which is inside so here's the back unzipped and this is really thickly a thick pad here you can put some lenses and stuff in here you got little pamphlets I guess you can put in and this is the actual compartment I think this is about 45 liters it said I'm not sure how you get 45 liters in there but that's what I think that's what it said looks more like 25 anyway whatever so what have I got in here so I've got my Canon I got the Canon ADD with a Tamron it's a um, it's got the Tamron 7260 on here which is what I use most of the time and that sits in there nice you can move all these internal compartments to suit yourself I've actually taken a few out so that um, I can get this big lens in here. So this is the uh, the big lens I have, 100-400 Canon IS zoom, image stabilizer in it. It's a little bit heavy to be recording stuff with by hand, so that's why I bought the tripod. There's my old Sigma lens. I just put it in here for now. This lens doesn't work with the the Canon because it's a uh, the firmware is more up to date so it won't work so this is a this is a 28 200 and it's very good and there's nothing wrong with it it's just it's a you need to be a slightly older camera for it to work but it's a very very good lens but I, nothing wrong with it I'm just going to keep it I guess so the camera I had which is in here just to show you is um, this Canon 
is a Rebel. It's the first sort of main digital camera I had. I've had others, but this is uh, the main one. Anyway, it was shipped over here to me, and it doesn't work. So, it's dead. This is the lens that came with it. It's a Canon 1855 lens. I bought my Canon without any lens because I, I didn't want I wanted a Tamron lens. I, I had Sigma before, you know the multi-purpose ones, but the Sigma w was a little bit difficult to get hold of and they, I was told the Tamron was better so I got that one. And down here I got um, an external mic that plugs into the to the uh, Canon ADD and this is a sun shield for this big lens which I hardly ever use but you know the first time you leave it behind you're going to want it right so it all stays down in there this is another sun shield for this lens and this little guy over here which I which I really like is um it's a sound recorder zoom H4n Pro sound recorder and you can get external mics and things like that for it. And it sits on a tripod. I have a small tripod in the truck for it. And this sit, you sit it on and you can walk away and record anything you want, really. And it, it records it in um, high definition sound. And I got some new speakers, or new mics that plug into it, which gives you surround sound. So that's my basically in my backpack here. And then it folds back down, zip it all up, and carry it away. Okay, so that was the backpack. I hope you enjoyed that. I can say, the more I play with it, the more I arrange it the way I like it, the more I, the more I really think I got the right deal, because um, the right one for me because it can hold everything I have and have spare. The, the small Rebel Cannon and the Sigma lens won't live in there. It's, I mean, I, don't, I can't use them now. I just wanted to show you them. But, um, so I have plenty of spare room if I ever want to buy a new lens. But for, for me, what I've got, the lenses I have are perfect. The only thing I might buy is a Micron filter in the future. Maybe that's the, the lens for next year at the photo fair. Right now, I'm very happy. You know the big lens I have, um, when you put it at 100? I've taken pictures of butterflies, and uh, let me show you a picture. So this is a picture of the butterfly I took with the big lens, right, in America, in my house in America, and it, uh, from about six or seven feet away. Amazing lens, isn't it? So. That's the backpack. And my point is, I don't know everything about photography. I don't know everything about tripods, backpacks, nothing. I'm just on a journey and then I'm enjoying myself. And I want to share my stuff with you guys, okay? So let's have a look at the tripod. And my point of saying all that mess was, what I learned about um, tripods, the tripods that I've been looking at are great for photography, but not good for video. So the one I've got is for video, and that's why you get the fluid head and it's much more smoother. So let's look at it. First, this is only up on the first thing, you got two more legs to come out. When it's fully extended, it's too big for me, I can't use it, it's too tall. So it's perfect you can adjust it the perfect height and then there's a right down here right here there's a lock ring so you can open it up and lock it so it can't move okay it's very strong it's got everything a normal um, tripod has except this head is a lot bigger and if you just touch the um, so if you just touch this and move it gently look it's so easy to be smooth And this is extended out all the way. This is a big lens, extended out all the way to 400. And it's, you know, you just adjust the tension on here and it's not falling over. And it's so smooth. So if you want to go up, you can go up too. You just have to put a bit more pressure on. So if you, 
you know, I'm not staying, standing with it, using it, so I've got it on a little bit tighter. So you just undo that a little bit, and then you can go up and down and like this at the same time. It's just so incredibly smooth. For me, I'm very interested in wildlife, so if you ever watch a bird, if you've zoomed into a bird and you're watching it, when it flies, it doesn't fly straight, like a panning. If it takes off and goes up at an angle like that, right? So if you're tracking it, you got to move, you have to pan and tilt at the same time. So I couldn't do that with my other lens. It was just too jumpy. I got the panning perfect, but going up and down as well is not smooth. But this one is incredibly smooth. So I got that smooth pan and tilt so I can watch the bird fly off or, you know, tracking a drone or, you know, last year I went to watch uh, water sports, um, jet ski racing, things like that. So as you go around a bend, you come closer and go higher. You can track it all, perfect. I tried tracking it by hand last year and it was bitty. You know, you can't, especially with the, the big lens, when you're zoomed all the way out, very hard to keep it still. So now I can. So, you know, this is a, a craft that we're uh, trying to perfect to make better and better, right? So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed all that. The people who wanted to see the tripod and wanted to see the backpack. The quality of the backpack, I, I would say is top notch. It's very good, you know, built. Lots of padding in it, very firm. But what I liked about it so much is, you know, before every time I went somewhere, like I'd say I'm gonna go here for a few days just to take video and um, take pictures and things like that. What happens? I gotta carry the big lens by itself, the camera, this, that, charging in another bag. Now I can put it all in one bag. When it's time to go, just pick it up and leave. Um, camera one, drone, another bag, personal items, another bag, so on. But you know, the idea now, I have three bags in bags instead of um, bits and pieces. So, but I, I waited for way over a year to finally get that case because I couldn't find one I liked. But um, I really like this one, so I'm very pleased with it. Just have to look after it and it'll last me a long time. And same with the tripod, I'm very happy. If you add up what I could have spent for some of the things I've seen, bags and uh, tripods, I could have spent way over 13,000 baht. But in the end I spent, um, what was it? 3,325 for the bag and 1,800 for the tripod. So that's about uh, 5,000 baht, which is about 120 pounds, which is about $150, something like that, roughly, I guess. So I'm very happy with what I've got. Um, so next year, I think the Micron filter. <laughs> Always something, isn't it? But um, only because there's so many things here not only because, just because I want it. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, justify yourself, right? Okay, guys, that's my story. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll sign off and say good night. Look after yourselves. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. And I'd just like to send out a message for... I know there's people out there who are hurting because of uh, illnesses and whatever other reason. I'm thinking about you. Look after yourself. See you in the morning. Good night.